Hey everybody, it's Mike from Fish in the Mid-South, and today I want to talk to you about the PC Fun SpeedX line spooler. Also comes with this, which this is just a nut that comes off. And what you can do, what makes this different than some other line spoolers, is when you take the nut off, and you put your spool on here, so, because we're going to be spooling up a line, uh, a reel, one of the new PC Fun Alios 400 reels that I just got in today. So you got your spool on here, and you can run this guy from either side through here, and it kind of twists into place, and then you put the nut on, and you can actually unspool line from your reel. Now where this becomes important, so let's say you're spooling a spinning reel. It's a new spinning reel, you haven't spooled this one before. And the line is just not laying on it properly, right? You either need to, to put in uh, one of the little spacers or take one out because it's too far towards the bottom stacking up there or too stacking too far towards the top. So that's when this comes in really handy. It also comes in handy if you're trying to remove line from a reel completely, but really not the best case for it. You know, you can use a, a few different methods, one of which is just, you know, a dowel plugged into, stuck into the end of a cordless drill. So what you do is you mount your reel to this line spooler, and it's just like, you know, putting it on a rod, put it in a reel seat here. And this works for both casting and spinning reels. So this is a, this tightens up these two arms here, and they've got a little plastic piece that goes in, the spool pivots on, or rotates on. And you can tighten this up so it gives you just some pressure. You don't want to, you know, go, you don't want to hulk out on it or anything. And then there's this piece at the top, right? And you can see it goes into this spring loaded piece here. So if you pick it up and turn it, then it can spin. So it works great for spinning reels. Now, for those who have been members of the channel for a long time, you may have seen that I did a review on a, a lesser or a less expensive version of this. Um, that didn't have the line remover. And actually, I was not a big fan of that one. Uh, I didn't see the purpose in it as much. Um, but the reduction of line twist, I've since taken that video down because I realized I was wrong. The reduction of line twist is really that important. Because um, I thought, you know, if, it, if it, the line's on there twisted, then when it comes off, it untwists and vice versa. But you really want to start out from ground zero. So what I have here is actually some Merced line from Run CL. It is 50 pound braid. Now what's really cool about these PC Fun Alios reels, see if I can roll this back around, there's a little nub here. And you can tie your line around that nub and you don't have to worry about your braid slipping at all because it can't. Because it, it, it actually sticks out and you can you know, tie your line right around it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So as I get all my little ducks in a row here. So we just run this through the uh, through the level line hole here. And then we come around. And I'm just going to do a simple overhand loop knot. Double it over and it's not a slip knot, nothing like that. Tighten it up. So I've got this loop that, that doesn't slip. And normally, you know, you'd want to tighten that down. You'd want it to slip down as tight as it can, but it doesn't matter in this case because that little, once I get the line cut here, that little nub that sticks up, this goes around it and it, it's like got a mushroom head on it or having kind of like a screw head. I mean, it's not a screw, but, you know, so it, it, it's larger than the thinner diameter. And so all you have to do, you've got the, you know, you set the tension the way you want it. And I probably should set, tighten up the drag. <laughs> and you literally, you just reel it. Now this is going to hold a whole bunch of line. Because it's the Alios 400. And I got it because it holds a lot of line. I figured it will hold about 200 yards of this 50 pound braid. So I'm gonna be doing this for a little while. Let me tighten up the pressure just a little bit. And it's important that you know you have 
um, some tension on the line when you spool them, which of course makes your arm get tired faster. But that way the line lays on there good, and especially with braid, you want it on there fairly tight. Because if you don't, then when you pull, it's going to just dig down deep. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to spool this little guy. So the price of this on the PC Fun website is $40. They're currently sold out. Um, I will post a Amazon affiliate link to this in case you would like to buy it. If you go through my link, then I get a little bit of money out of the process. It doesn't cost you any more. Um, it just basically gets me a small commission on it. So I'd appreciate it if you find that this is a useful item for you. Now, another thing that I can, should talk about here. So... This little gadget here, so you can tighten this, and then it snaps into place. But this, if you need to lengthen or shorten it, you can. Um, especially for a spinning reel, I like it further away. And even for a casting reel. Um, but it does close down a lot, so that, you know, for storage and things like that. The one thing that I wish it had was some way of clipping this piece to it. Um, because I find that I will find one piece and not the other. And, of course, the piece that I use the most is this main piece, not the, uh, the unwinder. And I tend to fill my, fill my spools too full, so I'm going to stop a little short here. Um, I've got a good 16th, maybe a little more, of uh, line left, or, or spool left before the line. And that's it. Then you just snip it off, and you are good to go. And this will hold bigger spools. I actually hold uh, one pound of suffix line on here. Um, the one pound spools of uh, Berkeley Big Game. They fit. It's a tight fit. But they will fit. And, uh, you know, that way you don't, you don't buy a, a small spool that fills up one, rule, one, one reel. And then you got a little bit more that isn't going to go on a reel and you just throw it away. So I like to buy the big spool so I can spool multiple reels um, and not waste as much line. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Again, this is called the PC Fun Speed X. And I'll have a link in the description. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.